Hey, what is up everybody? This is Hudson. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, in the last episode, we were running low on oxygen, but if I look at our reports, we are ahead of the game now, but we are using up twice, maybe even thrice, because of the algae terrarium. As much, uh, algae as we were before, and we only have, you know, okay, so like, right above us, we got tons of algae. Like, it's all sitting there for us. I don't want to have to crack into this germ-infested slime zone just yet. There's also a germ infested slime zone underneath us, which uh, these these zones generally have a lot of algae. We're gonna have to figure out how to really maintain the germs. I don't think that our wash basin is gonna cut it. We'll have to have sink setups and uh, eventually maybe even an exosuit uh, thing in order for us to get in and out of these hydrogen and chlorine areas. Because hydrogen and chlorine areas right here, hydrogen and chlorine areas right here. There's also tons of algae in these areas, so, you, like, maybe we shouldn't be concerned about algae, but the faster we burn up our algae, the faster we're gonna have to think about trudging into these areas over here, so. I'm also thinking about making a second microbe musher, um, and then having that microbe musher do only, um, only cooking the upgraded, uh, lice loaf, because we are gonna have some meal lice coming in here strong with our meal wood trees, so, I think that we can do the thing where we chop the tree down when it's almost done, when it's uh, through its second cycle, because it's third cycle, it'll be it'll be done, um, and get the seed back guaranteed. But I heard that there's a 33% chance upon harvesting that it drops a seed, which means that out of the three times that you harvest it, hopefully it'll drop a seed. Uh, eventually, over time, I think it it probably won't. You know, you'll probably run out over time, but I don't know. I don't know how to handle the situation, but we should probably try to sweep up most of these seeds that are laying around. And the muck roots, because when we start digging, I don't want to lose these. I want these uh, somewhere safe. Blossom seeds, mealwood seeds, like they're all over the place. That muck root, sorry dude, you're in with the hatch. Sorry bruh, it's not happening today. It's not your lucky day. All right, so what are we focused on right now? We have a second power generator, and that was because we had to make a second algae uh, oxidizer, but we also are gonna have a supercomputer, so we need to start thinking about maybe upping our power production, but we're not really up with our foods. Edible's at 13,000 right now, so that's good, but it takes a long time for somebody to sit there and crank out the food, and then the people to power everything else so it takes two people on power one person on food at least to keep up with that which is more than half of our people and then what are we doing we're not sweeping we're not building we're not digging and uh then we just slowly trudge away until we you know die it's like let's not do that because uh, we have to worry about so many more things than just food like turner he's he's not doing so well you know what that's probably because i upgraded him and he's not eating the appropriate food that he would like to be eating i think that's really causing stress on him so at some point we should think about kicking him from the job but if we kick him from the job then he's like well wtf man now i'm stressed because i don't have a job oh the intricacies of this game man all right uh i really want to clear out most of this area around our immediate base here just kind of the circle you see the circle that goes around i want to like kind of clear that out get everything that we can and then just build in a base that's a self-contained like airlocked unit where we don't have to make so much oxygen to cover all this vast distance because you know it's gonna be low pressure it's almost it's barely breathable down here and this carbon dioxide is going to end up creeping up on us. We need to somehow isolate all these things. Have a smaller high pressure area where we can kind of control the oxygen a little bit more than we already are. I think that'd be good. Already are hardier. Turn into a pirate there for a second. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. The water situation is fine. I would like to move this water down into this area, but at the same time... It's really close to the base. It's really convenient. Do I really want to make things inconvenient just because I feel like it? Not really. We have our contamination area over here. I really want to get those airlocks so I can kind of separate this off. Not so that we can have like a, an airtight base, but because I don't want that contamination coming in. No thanks, bruh. Polluted oxygen. What uses polluted water? Uh, there were a few things, actually. I think it was like one of these like pinch of pepper plants uh, requires polluted water so like we have a, a uses for the polluted water how do you pump the polluted water though to the plant without having a person have to go over there grab it touch it get contaminated feel sick I don't know man 
Let me pick up that. Is that a sweepable area right there? Is there some of the seed just kind of floating down there? There might be a couple seeds. I don't know. The more seeds that we can collect, though, and keep safe, the better, I, I think. There's no seed right there, dude. I kind of want to sweep this area up here just so that I know when, uh... When these mealwoods drop seeds and when they don't, just kind of keep tabs on that. Because if they drop more seeds than, you know, plants we go through, then then we're at a, a net gain, which is hopefully the case. But that kind of seems like a, if it's a 33% chance, it's kind of based off luck. We might just get unlucky. How's our uh, decor doing? It's actually pretty good decor in here. These briar plants are kicking booty. So I appreciate that. We should probably dig these ones up and then move them into the base to keep our... Are people happy because we, we really don't want the stress to spike you guys bad things happen to stressful dupes all right see like what I mean like we're not really keeping up with all of our tasks like this ladder hasn't been built in a while this microbe musher is just kind of sitting there can we uh can we build that though can we build it though too many people pooping. We have, uh, we, we don't have actually yet the ability to make toilets. That will be in sanitation. I'm kind of thinking sanitation is a big one for me. Um, doing the toilets and the showers, but honestly, it's extra. It's extra that we don't need to do. Um, aside from that, I would really like to have manual airlocks and airflow tiles. It blocks liquid, but does not obstruct gas. So that would just be so like... In the middle of our base here, we would make airflow tiles probably around this area so that the oxygen can get to everybody, especially like when they're up there sleeping. It gets pretty low oxygen. I don't want them to wake up because they're gasping for air and then they get tired and then they get stressed and blah, blah, blah. So let's see here. I would like sanitation. I would like probably pressure management before that. And then uh, blank canvases so we can start painting because we do have a painter. I would like to uh, up the decor, because that seems to do really well when you jump on that immediately and you just decor the crap out of the area. Stress levels end up being really low uh, because they really like the area. And then I'm thinking meal prep so that we can start getting better and better jobs if we start cooking better and better things. But we really, we, we really have to get on top of our, our, our farming before we can start making uh, a good food here. Should probably get on that whole farming thing. Can we not build this though, micro musher? Are we like really like that busy that we can't get to that? Is that a thing? What's our temperature at, by the way? See these batteries and the micro musher, they're heating up the area and I don't like that. I don't know in which direction we would head to try to find a cooler biome. Is that what we would really do though? Or we would, we, would we wanna try to like make a, a like, like an air thing, right? Cause there's air cooling things that uh, some some of them heat up the general vicinity of where it's built and then cool something else. Some of them are just fans. Where's the fan? Isn't there a fan somewhere? Probably ventilation out from this. Hydro fan. Dissipates a small amount of heat. So, like, that could be something that we could do. And then, where were those plates? Where were those plates that did the thing? Insulated tile. Space heater. That's the opposite of what we want. Thermal regulator. Cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in the immediate vicinity. Gas vent. There was a thing. There was like a, 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 a heat plate that would dissipate the heat better. Wasn't there? Did I make that up? Maybe it was somewhere else. I do not remember. There's so many things to look at, you guys. I just, I can't even. I just don't even know. What other things do we have for meal prep and agriculture? Oh, yeah. The farm stations. Refrigerators. Creature lures. Okay. I think that just having the grill would probably just be the first step because let's see here We do need plus two food at some point for the masters and plus three for tier six exosuit engineer Seasoned farmer to scientist. Dang um, Let's worry about plus one food Let's worry. Okay when it says plus one food though <laughs> What does that mean does that mean the food has to be one or does that mean the food has to be <coughs> plus one from the lowest food, which would be zero. Can you tell me that? Meets the basic living standards. It still doesn't even like explain to me what I'm really trying to get to. And I'm sure somebody out there knows the answer and I just don't because I'm, I'm not 
pulling up the wiki whilst I'm playing, which you guys probably would do. I hope you would do if you were playing this on your own and you're not recording it. Please, just pull up the wiki. Have it just, like, ready to go all the time. That'd be the best way to learn, but I'm just, I'm, I'm on my own, man. Makes for a more interesting let's play, I think. Chance for failure. All right, how's our oxygen looking? It's, it's, it's great, actually. Oh, it's really good. Okay, we are adding a lot of oxygen. What is our algae looking like? Five tons. It was like 5.4 last time we checked, so mm, kind of going down a little bit fast there. When we get low on algae, it's going to be bad news. Did we make that microbe musher yet? Is there only one person building? What's going on here? Build. We have a lot of builders. So why aren't we building? So they prioritize sweep task, maybe? They did sweep this area up, and that's nice. They're building the supercomputer now. Are you gonna build that? No. Okay, you know what? We have we have enough. We got uh, three days worth of food. Stop making food. Okay, that means that less power required. He jumped on it anyways because the batteries are low. Um, start doing other tasks, you guys. Get to it. We have a duplicate ready, but once again, I am not currently ready. This algae up here, though. Ooh, ooh, girl. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's a lot of algae. I'm excited about that. Good spawn location. All right, supercomputer is in. That was kind of like not very important yet. Kind of got to get a handle on everything else before we can really think about uh, researching higher levels of stuff. Because you don't want to go, you don't want to reach too far, right? And you have your eyes set too far in the future. You're going to say, oh, well, wait a second. Where's our, one of the dupes is, what? Unreachable. You jumped over, Bert. Good. Good, Bert. <laughs> These guys are so fucking stupid. You jumped over to start digging this before you actually built the tile in order to get back. <coughs> Dude, seriously? Seriously, though? Somebody build that goddamn piece of tile. What an idiot. Gotta hold their hand through everything. Cause I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. There we go, Bert. How's your back, by the way? Yeah, it's sore. Is yeah, it's sore, isn't it? Isn't it? You could have just spent like five seconds to build like a little uh, little tile. You could have just done that with the dirt that uh, sitting right in front of your face. Nice man. Turner's uh, stress is still high, but it's going down. So, just a good thing. That is quite nice. I'm like afraid to dig up all this stuff because it's gonna just plop down a bunch of ugliness, and everyone's gonna be mad. We should pick up that mealwood seed. Should we start growing more mealwood? I think we should. We should probably put the mealwood like away somewhere. We should tuck it in the corner because if you notice the decor, they really don't like it. They really, really don't like that. So actually, what if we like remove these and then we build tile down here and over like that. And then we make the mealwoods over here in this area self-contained mealwood facility. How about that, guys? What do you think about that? Can't forget about this hatch. He's right in the middle of everything. How could you do that to me? I wish he would, like, jump into the toilet area or something like that. Like, that's a fine area because they're just gonna end up plunging it and putting a bunch of polluted dirt in the ground. He could be our poop eater. He'd be like that guy when you walk into the, the bathroom, you know, and he's like, gives you mints and stuff. <laughs> Except for instead of giving you a mint, he just bites your dick off. He would too, Hatch. They're they're angry. They eat anything. Nonchalantly sips from cup. Mmm tea. This is my morning tea. It actually has caffeine in it. I love coffee, but man, you can really get dependent on coffee and then you start having headaches because you don't have coffee. And that is something that I deem not okay. I don't like that. I don't like dependency on anything. So then I cut back, switch over to tea, drink that for a while, and then maybe go back to coffee. Ideally, I have to go off nothing, but damn, it's good. It's so convenient too, and then they're like, oh, it's got all these health benefits. You're like, well, why not then, huh? Why not? All right. How many light guys do we have? One, two, three, four, five, five. 
Let's make sure that those guys don't start disappearing. Because if I start doing something wrong, I want to know about it. Even if it's too late. Even if it just benefits you guys. I'm just waiting for somebody to trap themselves down this hole. Alright. We're doing it! Nobody's idle. I forgot that it shows you up here in the top left that if they're idle or not. Oh, you know what? Let's do a thing right now. Since we're growing mule wood, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody eats the mule wood. Nobody touches it. All right? And this guy is going to be pumping out continuous life lo lice loaf. It's really going to be annoying to see this building lacks resources all the time now, but I think this is the way to do it. One musher that does uh, one food, and then the other musher that does the other food. Because you can't just tell them, make lice loaf if you have meal lice. Don't if you don't. It just... It takes up that first spot. So, like, I could say, like, infinite mush bars now, but they wouldn't get to it if, if this is unavailable, so... It's, at least as far as I know. They just delivered water to it, so maybe there is a thing like that? I don't know. No, actually, you know what? I think they're just able to build it. Or able to start making lice loaf mush bars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Um, uh, let's go back to the consumables tab. Only... Only Turner gets to eat that because he is the one that requires... Good food. Good. We had that understood? Does, is he gonna prioritize the good food over the bad food? I don't know. Isn't that weird how, like, I could literally strip him of his hat, and then he's gonna all of a sudden go back to being able to eat the crappy food, and he won't complain anymore. Because right now, he was like, ew, gross. It's a little strange. Like, I, I understand the idea behind what they're doing with this, but it's, at the same time, it's a little out there. But, you know. Should we start researching something? Probably. What do we think? Electric grill. I think that it cooks a variety of food, but the only thing we're making food out of right now is dirt. So, like, we don't have the supplies to even make stuff. something. We're looking too far into the future, like I'm saying. I'm thinking airlock. But, once again, we're taking now people away from building, and now they have to go research. And if they're going to research, especially on the supercomputer, they got to go ahead and they got to uh, do the, 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 the generators. Game is not simple in any way, shape, or form. Oxygen, still, it's really good now. It's like super good. It's so good that I'm gonna turn one of these off. Sable building. Don't let me forget to turn it back on when we start dying. I just don't wanna use up too much of our algae, you know? And then when it's high pressure, just, just let it be. Let it be, let it be. Let it be, oh, let it be. We can start putting more planters down here. Ooh. I don't know if, like, leaving spaces between them actually makes sense. I was just thinking, like, maybe we could put lights there later, because I think they grow faster if there's light. Um, may you know what? Maybe we should have built it up here, because there's these guys that they, uh, give it light. They just seem like they go upwards all the time. So maybe putting the planters at the top would be good, but not really, because the heat goes up, but they need it to be cooler and die up. Brain explodes. Alright, mealwood. Mealwood. Let's try a blossom. A couple blossoms. Mealwood. Mealwood. Blossom. And blissim. Just try it. Give it a go. Stress levels. Turner's going back up now, probably because he's eating shitty food. All right, is everyone able to reach their beds? New duplicates available, please go away. Cycle 20 report, go away. No researchers assigned, go away. No researcher assigned. Does that mean that they can't use the supercomputer? Colony lacks resource, research assistant, scientist, tenured scientist. Let's take a break for a second. Um, scientist, 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 research. Okay, so somebody, if they want to use that machine, I got to put them on it, and that means they're going to require better food. Um, who would that be? Who has an interest, first of all, in it? No one does. Is Bubbles our researcher, or is Nails our researcher? They're both golfers right now. Does anybody have an interest in golfing? Interest in farming? Interest in nothing? Okay, you don't have any interest, Bubbles. So let's just put Bubbles maybe on the research assistant. I 
this, like this. Bubbles is not qualified for the research assistant position. What do you need for that? Okay, let's start reading these things. Research assistant, Bubbles. Not qualified. Rele relevant interest, none. Relevant skills, learning three. Qualifications capable of performing research jobs. Mastery of the unemployment, unemployed job. Okay, Bubbles, the, are you the only person that cannot research? Bubbles literally cannot research. Bubbles is our artist. Why was it telling me that Bubbles is a three as far as research going? Because of learning? Because of learning, probably. Nails, you are the researcher. So let's put Bubbles back. Even though you want to be a farmer. It seems like it's kind of difficult to, to match up their interests with what they're actually good at. Now, what is it? What is it that you have that's good? I think it's just learning three that they're telling me. So let's let's just stick with that. Um, how is your stress levels, Nails? Because your, your stress level is going to go up because of the food. All right. Actually, well, it says right here, too, their decor expectation. Decor expectation is the same, plus 25. It doesn't jump up until tier three. Okay. Alrighty then. So when this starts getting low pressure oxygen up here, like I said, the carbon dioxide actually will expand. The carbon dioxide will expand upwards, and we really don't want that to creep up on us. Uh, can the... What are these guys? Blossom seeds. Carbon dioxide it can be in a carbon dioxide pressure. Uh, okay. In the air. I'm thinking, like, if it overtakes these plants, is that going to be okay? Because maybe then we should have put them up higher, but I think both of them can survive in the uh, carbon dioxide. Yep. These are stifled, though. Irrigation and illumination. Oh, they need illumination. Illumination light. Okay. They need it. And irrigation water. Water is not a big deal, but the light thing is probably going to be a problem. Do we have any lights? We do have some lights, but we can't cover all of the plants. Son of a dick. Okay. You know what? Uproot these then. How much... <sighs> Shoot, man. I think that let's let's make these ones up here. I'm I just I'm I'm, I'm baffled right now. What should we do here? Let's uproot these, even though they're okay, 99%. Let's wait on those. And as soon as those are done, let's uproot them and then plant them down here. Uproot the bl the bristle blossoms. Let's not put them down there. Let's put the bristle blossoms up here. Let's put one light to cover all four of them. And uh, that way, it'll also provide light in the middle of this area for uh, decor value. I don't care about the decor value down here, but... I'm trying to do the right thing here. I'm trying to figure this out. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Plants have died! Which ones? Crystal Blossom. It died already. Plants have died again. We get the seed back, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't care. Somebody should make a ceiling light up here. I think Bristle Blossom, does that provide um, good decor? It does provide good decor. Decor is going to be smashing in this area. All right, blossom. Actually, let's wait on that. Don't plant anything just yet. Get the light in there first. We need uh, power to it. That was easy. No research is assigned. We know that. Building lacks resources. No, wait, wait, wait. No research is assigned for what? Because I did, right? Why is it telling me this? He's, Nails is currently researching. And so is Nicola. Like, we're good, man. Researchers are all over the place. I think that's just a faulty, faulty alarm. It's making me worried here. Let's actually plant the more, the, the meal woods down here then. All of them. Boop. Easy peasy. Check the vitals. Looks good to me. Check the oxygen. Looks good to me. As long as we have food, 
Check the food. <laughs> food, oxygen, and no stress. Germs, technically, we should check on, but uh, we seem to be doing really, really well. Vitals, it says, actually. Immune system, 100%. Dude, 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 dude. Nicola, you got your butt chomped on. You're missing a few fingers. He's okay. He doesn't need him. Making fertilizer down here. That feels pretty good, Bert. Thank you for that. What are our jobs right now? We're not building anything, we're not digging anything. Should we be digging and building? I don't know. We're researching pressure management. It's going really well. We're generating power. We're making food. We're making lyslofuses. Life lyslofesens? Feels pretty nice. Should probably uh, sweep up the rest of these seeds. All right. Double toilet system is working really well. I like this. We seem to have hit a stable ground. So no one's building that ceiling light, which means we're busy. It's fine. They always seem to, to want to sweep before they do anything else. And this is okay. It's not the most ideal thing that's ever happened, but... I want to build more storage compactors, but I want to put them away. I want to, I want to hide them a little bit here. I'm thinking about making storage compactors right down here. Skill increase, duplicates are available, lacks oxygen, insufficient oxygen generation. We already know that since I shut one off. It's fine. Research is complete already. That was really, really, really quick. And I'm happy about that. Where is my manual airlock? I'd like to do that right here. Here, so they can wash their hands in the air. Am I building my uh, tile out of the right thing? Sandstone, that's fine. Does it tell me specifically the benefits? Sandstone, run speed plus 25%, decor plus five. Sedimentary rock, same. Granite, same. No, select raw materials on the bottom. Decor plus 10% for this. Thermally reactive is sedimentary rock. Decor, overheat temperature plus igneous rock is slow heating. Okay, this is nice though because like I need to know. I don't exactly know what thermally reactive means. I think that thermally reactive means that it, you know, heat passes through it really quickly, really easily. Maybe. Bueller. One of these days they'll build that light. It's going to be really ugly on the toilets, but I'm not sure that I'm terribly concerned about that. You must have beautiful toilets. Yeah. Alright. While you guys are in there, let's start building some of these storage compactors. I want the storage compactors in like a central area because they need to always travel to them to grab the stuff. But not too central that uh, makes the place ugly. Decor value, look at this. It's negative for these. Minus 27 for storage compactors. Hey, the light's on. Okay, there we go. Blossom seed. Blossom seed. Blossom seed. Bless him. Oui, oui, bless him. Let's make another uh, planter in the middle. I think I can make two planters on the outside, too, technically. Well, let's start here. Start small. You don't want to go too far. How you doing? Blast some seed. Uh, additional domestic growth, life cycle, uh, irrigation water is the only thing that it needs. You guys need to, to water that thing. Chop, chop. Chip, chop, chip. Make sure you take care of these things. It's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Good, though. Look at that, it's not dead. It's not dead! Yay! Priority. Six space. Alright, we're sleeping. That's fine. Sleeping is okay. Barely. If we should make a, a water pump spurter outer thing. 
for fresh water somewhere, since we kind of have them just clogging up the place. Also, let's maybe get that muckrit out of there before it gets pretty diseased. There's uh stuff, there's germs on these plants. Not too many germs elsewhere though. We're doing a really good job. Germs on our water supply. <laughs> we knew that. But our immune system is 100%. Look at our stress levels. Wow. Is that because we're pumping out lice loaf? Dude. Oh, hey, one other person was uh, nails. Yeah, n -n 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 nails. Consumables, nails. You get to eat lice loaf now. <laughs> right? Pretty sweet, right? Oh, you know what? We need to actually uh, copy the settings onto these guys. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy, you guys. Pushing along. Not much is different about this than the last season. I don't think it'll change until way later. When we start doing like all the automation thing. And travel tubes! I hope I can get there. Please let me get there. Let's just honestly trudge forward like nothing's different. Is what I'm doing. You guys might be like, oh, cringe, because he doesn't realize that he has to blah, 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 blah. With that one thing, with the blah, blah, blahs. How much power does this, this take up? Does it tell me? Heat production? Everything just produces heat, man. Unrefrigerated food. If I had a cool area, I would handle it. It's nice, though, that we finally have an ability to, like, empty bottles somewhere. Because I remember when we were trying to spill water on top of our uh, ration boxes in a, in a cool zone so that we could keep it even colder. And now we can just spill it out wherever we like. I wish this decor could come up here to these cots. We should have spaced the cots out. Removed some of the tiles. Oh well. Okay, so food's growing. Food's doing nice. What do we have to pay attention to at this current point in time? Should we start... You know, we should start looking to the future. Start looking to the future. I said I wanted to airlock off some things. Maybe uh, use some airflow tiles. We want to make some blank canvases to get ahead of our stress levels. Uh, meal prep, not just yet. Sanitation. Let's let's go for the canvases. We have a painter. I think that would be smart. And we should clear this area up here, I think. There's a lot of junk going on up here. Get this top layer. Don't go too far on it, though. Otherwise, they won't be able to reach all the rest of the stuff. I would like to let get all this algae too. If it's all possible. Please, Sire. Don't we have a digger job? Yeah, Princess Miner. Bert. Bert's so on it. Bert's 100%. These guys are ready to be uh, upgraded, but I'm not ready for them. Plus 50 decor. Put some campuses up, and they will be ready to go. Fling. Oh, yeah, the hatch. Look out. Look out! Run, Bubbles! You're getting hurt! Bubbles! He got busy eating stuff. Is he still going for her? No. Okay, don't dig him up in that spot. I don't want to actually die. That was actually a lot of damage on Bubbles. What are you, what are you at now? Bubbles is 70 out of 100. Is that, does that light wounds? Light wounds, minus three athletics. Pretty severe, actually. Minus three athletics, that's a lot. So you know what? Let's actually make a little uh, cot. Do we have that? Massage table, medicine, med bed. We do have a med bed, and someone can take care of you. We actually have somebody that's good at that. But where would we put that? I think we should expand the cot area when we start mining all this stuff out. That'd be smart. Let's put it like over here in the middle. I think, like, tile across, like, here. Dig up that. Start digging that up. Now that you're up there, you can start digging that. 
Sweet, dude. Food shortage. I am so on that. So there were uh, some pretty intense things that I saw, you guys, when I looked into the upgrades. And I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, especially in this automation area. There was like, there were uh, uh, checkpoints that you could stop duplicates. Duplicate traffic control, there it is, duplicate checkpoint. You can literally like turn on and off uh, the ability for a duplicate to pass through an area depending on a certain thing. Like you could say, you know, um, I, I can't even think about it right now because it was like so intense. You could say like, if the germs in this one area is so high, you can stop the passage, you can stop the flow of duplicates into that area until blah 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 blah. Or if there's 25% power, you can then open up a door that allow them to go into the manual generator one. And then if there's, you know, below 10%, you will open it up in a manual generator two if you need to and blah blah blah. Like... So many things that you can do with this game. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like it's turning, it's it's coming from like a game that was somewhat simple, but you had to play it enough to like really get the the hang of it. Why are we dying? There's no power in the ceiling. What can we can we can we uh, can, ooh, can we do that? Maybe like up the priority. We don't want them to die because it seems like if you just let them shrivel up for too long, they just keel over in like a day. So we actually need some charges on that battery. Maybe we should start making more batteries. I was just talking about something and then now I forgot. We we need more batteries, absolutely. And like maybe a battery elsewhere so that we don't overload the system. Maybe, I don't know, like down here. Does it matter where the battery is? Probably not. Maybe even another battery, maybe even like the two more, you know? Maybe we go crazy with it. Do, 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 Putting a battery over top of the water <laughs> with electric wires. Really smart. Nice job, hamstray. We're gonna need to dig out this. But I don't want to dig that out because then I can't reach that up here. They can figure it out if they start building from the other side. You guys can figure it out, please. Come on. I believe at you. I'm just surprised that, like, some of these systems are just going without us needing to babysit it, like the outhouses. It's just working. It's not diseasing up the area. It's going really well. Manual airlock. Look at that. Oh, it's working. Sweet, dude. This whole area should be completely airtight, as far as I know. All right. Tomorrow we build more batteries because it's not illuminated at night, and I don't want the bristle blossoms to die overnight, which they actually might do really soon. Cross our fingers, and uh, we will pick that up in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support on this series, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.